Hello, now we would like to talk about dynamic profiles. This tool is really similar to Ring Wizard, but uh, Ring Wizard just allows to work in a circle, okay? Here in this tool, we can use any curve to create our design. For example, let me create a simple curve to show you how it works. Okay, we have a curve, Jolly tab, dynamic profile, okay? First of all, we need to click the rail. We can select one or multiple rails. And as you can see, here we see the profile and we have exactly the same profiles that we have in Ring Wizard. Okay, obviously we can add our own profiles. Okay, but just to understand the concept is we have one defined, then we can modify the width, the height, okay and also we can define a thickness we click on thickness and we can define the thickness at this moment just we have one and it affect to all the curve okay but we can click and add a new one okay and we can see dynamically the result Okay, obviously we can modify the height and the width, okay. Also we can modify the position, okay, the rotation and the rotation in this direction, okay, the vertical rotation. Okay, we can combine several profiles okay for example now i add a new one showing red because it's in the same position than other profile then i can define what i want and also i can click a point on the curve click here and i have this one i can modify the position to 20 for example maybe it's too much okay but you can see the profile, the first, the second, and the third, okay, okay. Then, other thing is, when we create a profile, automatically go to the tree. It means that we can double click and edit anything that we want. Okay, for example, now, I would like to do bigger that, okay. It's completely parametrical. I think it's really, really interesting. If we edit the curve, okay, for example, we edit this curve, okay, when we double click to edit, automatically adapt to the new curve, okay, and now we can say we want to move this one or we want to move this one, okay, easy, right? Also, we can save our templates, okay, as we have our presets as we have in Ring Wizard. Then basically, this is the tool. This tool allows to create all that you can imagine, okay, and it's extremely easy and you have the control about thickness, position, sizes, whatever. Okay, but let me show you a sample. This sample, you can find it in the training guide. Okay, let me hide the surface, now we don't need it. Then we come to Jolie, dynamic profile, and we select the rail. Okay, show the result, and in this case just we have one rail, uh, uh, sorry, one profile, then it's the same profile for all the design. Okay, but by default the profiles are oriented to the C plane. Okay, in this case, maybe it's not the best position. Obviously, we can do a mirror if we want. Okay, and that's it. Okay, but let me show you other way to do that is we can show a surface and click to select surface. Okay, we click to select surface and select the surface and automatically 
all the profiles will be oriented to the surface okay then we click to select to add a new one and we will place here okay and we will do a new one and we will click on point on curve we will select here great then now I can click on the first profile okay and modify for example we want to modify the weight to three okay and obviously the modification is from this point to the next point okay we click OK and here we have our dynamic profile OK I think it's really really easy to create really nice designs let me show you I think it's so beautiful design to create a render then we will render it this is using Render Studio for Brazil we will select the ground plate we have videos explaining how it works in materials we will select gold yellow gold and that's it render maybe it's not too much fast because we are recording the video Thirteen seconds. I think it's not bad. It's a nice design, nice render in thirty seconds. <laughs> Great. That's all about dynamic profiles. And thanks for watching.